Well, look, first of all, um, I'm supporting Jim. My support is not changing. My support is not moving. Um, our conference, in my view, needs to, uh, you know, settle this once and for all, surround Jim, elect him to be our speaker, and then we get back to business. Um, he's going to be our, he's our nominee. I totally believe he's going to be our leader, and uh, you know whatever calls he makes, I fully support. So what, what do you mean? Um, well, then at that point, you know that's a, that's a decision uh, that Jim's going to have to make. What, what do you make of the resolution away? right now that's being pushed around McHenry and empowering him? Uh, I don't support the resolution. Even when I first started hearing about it, I didn't support it, um, and that's not indicative or anything against Patrick. I have the most amount of respect for him, but uh, this body has to elect the Speaker of the House. The one thing that I, I want to we need to be careful of is even though we're in this period where members are are frustrated and want to get back to work we cannot unveil these other side procedures because uh, in this town once you unveil a side procedure people tend to want to go back to that again and again and again it's not the way this place is supposed to work I do not support it how many rounds can Jim Jordan go without losing support y'all all talk at the one how many how many rounds how many rounds can Jim Jordan go before he starts to lose the most support uh, Jim can go as many rounds as he chooses to, and I'll be right there with him. Would Congressman, you without empowering um, Patrick McHenry, McHenry, what do you see as the options to getting anything done while this battle continues? As members, we're just going to have to make a decision. That's it. And that's what you're telling your constituents? The only way around is through. Would you consider running for speaker if Jordan drops out? I'm not even getting into that because those are hypotheticals. Why do you Some think he's losing support? Huh? Mr. Some people have floated your name. I mean, people float my name for a lot of things, but uh, right now I, I'm here to do a job, and my job is one, help help Jim become speaker. Number two is figure out how we're going to fund this government, secure the border. Are you? It's not changing. That's that's my answer. What's up? Are you concerned about how this is looking for your party, considering this is the second time this year you all have had to go through this? Uh, a little concerned, but at the end of the day, I think what the American people are concerned with most of all is results. And so if we get through this this uh, impasse in leadership, which I fully expect we're going to, it's going to be about what do we actually achieve with respect to government funding, securing the border, and the things that truly matter to the American people. That's what they're going to remember. That's what, gonna, they're, what's, that's what they're going to judge uh, Republican leadership on. How much longer should they have to wait for those results, though? Is there a clock here for Jordan if this goes another week without a speaker? The only clock is... Uh, the clock that Jim Jordan has us on. That's it. So right, get him back next? out there. Want to vote again right now? Uh, listen, we're paid to vote. I do it again and again and again, but that's me. Look, I think at the end of the day, you know, he has to talk with those members who are holdouts and see where they are. Um, and then he has to make a determination of what he wants to do next. What do you